hello everyone welcome back to my channel and also for those who are new to my channel welcome to pots and succulents and today we're going to uh, repot or replant this uh, begonia I bought this begonia I think last Sunday and here it is here's the name of that begonia it's begonia dark leaf mix so and here's the uh, what do you call that a care tips yeah okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, repot it in this uh, this big barrel pot again yeah, so just keep watching please so let's get started and this is what we're gonna do first. So before we continue, let's hear the comments of the day. Let's take it out slowly. Dahan dahan lang kasi baka maputol natin yung kanyang mga ugat. Yan. So, ito yung first na itatanim natin. That's the uh, begonia uh, dark leaf. Begonia dark leaf. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, dito lang natin na i-arrange natin siya na pabilog. So, hindi ko napakita sa inyo um, how I planted the two begonias. I thought the camera is on. So, this is the third one. And while uh, working on this begonia, uh, according to my research, nag-research ako na about this, it says na ano daw sila, uh, nagpo-produce sila ng dark green leaves and deep red flowers. Iba-ibang flowers, menong red, pink. Uh, yellow and white yun yung kanilang mga flowers and ideal sila for growing outdoors now pwede natin sila ilagay in a container or like this one in in a pot or sa garden um, kung may garden bed tayo or, or sa ground pwede rin silang ilagay so ideal talaga for outdoors yung mga begonias and also they uh, prefer moist but well drained soil na ito nga kaya ang ginamit ko dito ng soil hindi ko na sa inyo pinakita I use the uh, cacti and succulent soil mix kasi well drained soil yung well drained soil yung uh, cacti and succulent mix and also hinaluan ko sila na kung din yun ng potting mix so yun yung ginamit kong soil para uh, maging successful yung ating pag repot dito sa mga bali seedlings to noong itinanim sa nursery no kaya nasa isang panet sila okay so ikaw na yung magtatanim sa isa so we're going to uh, make like a round like a bouquet yun ang gagawin natin dito and one more thing about dark leaf begonias is also that uh, they can take the sun's heat better than you know the the green leaf varieties, iba-iba kasi, ito is the dark leaf. So, uh, natitake niya yung sun's heat, no? and they can be planted in partial or or full sun location. So, hindi siya, hindi siya masela, no? Pwede siyang ilagay sa full sun or partial sun. Okay? So, sana mag, uh, uh, mabuhay itong mga to. So, sa dami niyang seedlings na yan, po pwede din natin sana yan itanim isa-isa sa isa, isang pot, no? Yung medyo maliit lang. 
para mas madami kang ano, madami kang naka pagka naka mm, display <laughs> ng mga begonias. So dahil meron ako nitong malaking pot na to, naisip ko na ito na lang lahat na maybe maganda sila kapag ka nag-lush na and nag-grow na sila talaga. So, when it comes to uh, how to care these begonias, hindi sila mahirap na alagaan and if we're going to water them, um, ang gusto nila is pwede silang uh, sa deep watering like once a week or whenever the soil, you know, feels right when we touch it. Usually, ganun yung ginagawa ko. Tinutuso ko ng daliri ko if the soil is, lalo na yung if it's out uh, indoor plant yun yung ginagawa ko so during hot dry weather and blooming periods and blooming periods yan usually is um, uh, from autumn hanggang summer so today dito sa Australia it's uh, springtime so nagbu- uh, nakita ninyo na merong mga flower kahit na maliit pa lang sila so sa pag water Uh, wag natin, avoid natin yung over-saturating yung, yung plant natin or yung begonia because they can cause the roots to rot no? Ma- mamamatay siya mag magkaroon na ng uh, root rot okay, so pwede din naman natin uh, i-fertilize okay and pagka meron siyang mga dead or wilted flowers Uh, i-pinch off lang natin or meaning uh, tanggalin natin uh, para to encourage more blooms. No? So, kanina pinakita ko nga itong ano natin uh, yung natitira pang itatanim natin. So, hindi ko alam kung ilan ang magagawa natin dito sa mga begonias na to. So, yun lang yung ibang tips na pwede kong ma-share sa inyo and also pala Um, um, ano naman sila resistant naman daw sa drought okay so pag ganun yung ano yung halaman hindi siya mahirap na alagaan kasi you don't need to water them talaga everyday no? so pwede pala sila na yung deep watering kahit once a week lang okay okay so yeah uh, I think This is enough. Uh, parang nakuha ko na yung na mga dapat kong paglagyan na <laughs> mga ano natin. Ating mga begonias. Okay. Just keep watching. So, here's our first pot. And yung remaining begonias, we're still gonna plant them. And this is the second pot. Medyo maliit na siyang konti. And yeah. So we're gonna start again what we did uh, on the first pot. So I hope that you're gonna stay and watch. So that may kasama akong gumagawa dito sa aking repotting. So we're nearly finished with our second pot. I think... I uh, think I'm gonna put in around six or eight uh, begonias in this pot. So now we finished the second pot and we're gonna work on the third one. And these are the remaining begonias. And we have here, I uh, think these are four. Yeah, four remaining begonias. So, if you'll notice, I am wearing gloves now, unlike kanina. Sobrang putik pala. Yeah, I decided to wear my ano. Okay, yan. Ang pangalan ng ating begonia. Begonia dark mix leaf or dark, dark leaf mix. <laughs> Balibaligtad. So here's our last pot. So yung remaining begonias na uh, former remaining dito natin sila itatanim. And 
nabato na yung ating yung ating gloves kasi maliit lang yung ating pagtatamnan so okay lang putik na lang yung ating daliri ayan naman talaga ang gardener <laughs> okay so again I would like to thank everyone sa support ninyo sa ating Pots and Succulent channel appreciated much and I hope na hindi kayo magsawa sa um, pag-support sa Pots and Succulents okay so yeah that's all and I'll see you around. And here they are, our begonias. And as you can see, medyo madumidumi sila yung mga leaves nila kasi katatanin lang natin. So, nilinisan natin yan. And, uh, nakapansin yung umuulan dito. So, iniwan ko lang muna sila sa ulan natin.